Hello there. In this video, we're going to be taking two bowls, some copper tube, and copper fittings, and seeing if we can distill some water with it. The idea here is the dollar store sells really cheap bowls, and if you flip the two on top of each other, you basically get a boiler, with the bottom pan holding your water and the top funneling the steam. Of course, in order to let the steam through, we're going to have to add a hole, and that's where I'm going to attach my fitting to. And while the copper fitting fits decently on its own, I'm going to add a little bit of solder around it just to help seal the edges and hold it in place. Something to note is that the regular plumbing solder that is meant for copper to copper connections that I'm using doesn't seem to do so well for copper to stainless steel. But nonetheless, I was able to get a little bit of solder on there and with that thread on my male connector. And with this, we essentially have a water distiller. We can boil the water in the bottom bowl, add on top the second bowl to funnel the steam outer fittings, and connect a long piece of copper tube to the elbow to essentially act as a makeshift condenser cooling the steam. And this does in fact make distilled water. The only issue being that most of that distilled water coming out the other end is in the hot steam form, not in the liquid form. So let's figure out a way if we can make this a little bit more energy efficient. The easiest upgrade would be to essentially dunk our condenser in water, since water has a much greater thermal conductivity than the air that is currently cooling it. So I went ahead and drilled a hole in a bucket and added some copper tubing, and this time had much better luck soldering with a copper to copper connection. This second iteration runs basically identical to the first one, with water being added to the bottom bowl and the top bowl being placed over top the funnel A steam. I then used some copper elbows to connect the condenser to the boiler. And even though I didn't notice any steam leaking out the edges, I went ahead and added some spring clamps to the sides anyways, since I just had them laying around. I then turned the heat back up and waited for the water to come up to a boil. And once the water was up to a boil, as we anticipated, there's no steam coming out and the faucet was cool to the touch. I then let it run for a while and collected a few samples, from which I calculated the output to be anywhere from around 1 liter to around 1.5 liters an hour. Now at this rate it's probably cheaper and faster just to drive to the store to buy a jug of distilled water, but of course there's no fun in that. And with that said, thank you for watching.